knew it. I knew it. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. This guy works every day with fucking every day wearing a sweatsuit trying to cut weight. My time, every day baby. working with a sweatsuit. Not a sweatsuit. I didn't, just camp, a I didn't go to camp to make weight. You did. I went to camp to get ready for your ass to fuck you up. That's what I went to camp for. 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 Tell me what you see here, Chris. Let's take a look. Um, myself? Yeah, right now we see Chris Ariel, that's right. Here we go. You know, just coming right there with the nice right, right hand, you know, our counter hook. And then the right hand just came right in. Round the bun, man, nothing else to say. Come around the bun. I have my hands up. He's a strong motherfucker. He just got, I just got caught in. Nothing happens. Chris, you took a knee, seemed to be aware of what was going on and collect yourself. What were you thinking at that moment? Shit. I got to get back up and uh, get that point back. That was, that was my main concern. Get that point back any which possible. You know, win the round or drop him a couple times. The one that has to make a mark. Me, I just got to come and kick his ass and by, by, by all means necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then once I do beat him, he's going to be like, oh, shit, Chris Yerla. And I'm going to tell him, fuck you. You guys counted me out. Mm -hmm. So what does, what, what's the end goal for you then? Like what, 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 well, right, obviously. The As a contender for a world title, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm beating and I'm fighting the best fighters out, uplifting. Mm -hmm. You know, DMX had a lot of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. rest in peace, but, you know, it's still work. It's mm -hmm. constant work. It's something that makes you want to get your butt up and move and do mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. When I work out, I have to listen to hip hop. Yeah. If, it, if it doesn't make me angry, nothing pushed me. I don't want to hear no love song, no country. Oh, I'm listening to some love song. Give me, give me, give me really? some. Hell yeah. Did it some, work out? Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. Give me some Tennessee whiskey. Ooh, oh, I was just listening to that on the way here. It's a great song. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. It gives me chills just thinking about it, man. Uh, looking at uh, the weigh-in yesterday, we've seen you slim down a bit. And this way, and you yeah. kind of moved up a bit in weight. So yeah. what's going on there? You know what? That, that was my big fuck up. Because my birthday was on the 5th. It just passed. And I like pizza. I ate a lot of pizza. I ain't going to lie, man. That's the truth. No excuses. There's no excuses for me to weigh in that much. Henry's like, what the? Uh, how many, how much pizza did you have, man? The whole weekend. The whole weekend? The whole weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I like pizza and shit. And, um. I weighed in and Henry's like, what the fuck happened? Because I left Big Bear weighing 251 and uh, just ate too much. I overate and he's like, you're going to cut? I'm like, fuck no, I'm not cutting. Why am I going to cut? But I promise the next fight I'm coming in the 40s, man. And um, as a kid, I always wanted to meet Don King. But now I think Don King's a fucking asshole and he's a racist. No, 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 no. We're not going down that way. He's racist. All right, Barry, it was all going well until then. Let's apologize to the audience. We can't. Seth Mitchell, what do you think about him? You didn't mention him. Seth Mitchell's a joke. I don't care. I think he's a joke. I don't think he's good. Um, you know, I, I see when, when uh, Kevin Johnson called him out and made him look like a punk. Straight punked him. You know, Kevin Johnson's my boy, and I think Kevin Johnson would, would dance circles around him. What about Malik Scott? Malik Scott, he's good. I gotta give Malik Scott deserves a whole lot of credit, a whole lot of respect. Chris, I know you told me it was years ago. What do you remember from sparring Andy? You're not the same fighter. He's not the same fighter, but still, you were in fast ring hands. Him? The main thing was fast hands. I remember seeing him, and I was like, look at this fat kid. Fat kid looks to be deceived because he has one of the fastest hands that I've been in the ring with. Him. Um, Throws as fast as the burn. Heck yo. What do you think about Oscar De La Hoya's performance tonight? Uh, he had a very, very good fight, but um, I'm the better fighter tonight, and I am a lot faster than him, and uh, um, I just think that I was faster, and I got the better side in the fight. What is the plan for Manny Pacquiao? Um, well, you see me right now. I'm going up in weight, uh, any weight class. I try to fight anywhere. Maybe Kelly Pavlik will be next, uh, 165, 160 pounds, and uh, right now, just getting ready for the fight with Ricky uh, Hampton. What do you think the outcome will be with Ricky Hampton? Uh, I think Ricky Hatton is a very, very strong fighter, but um, I would beat him with my power. Um, uh, and then I am very fast too, and I got a lot of head movement, so I don't think he will catch me. Thank you, man. Uh, the thing about it, man, I should have lose to this fucking guy. There's no way. So, that's why I'm out here working hard, so I don't give him a chance or opportunity for him to beat me. And uh, honestly, if I lose to this fucking guy, I would honestly contemplate retirement, dude, because he, he doesn't belong in the room with me, period. Alright, so he says uh, every time I stepped up, uh, I've lost a fight. You're not a step up, I'm stepping down to you. Oh! Oh, 
two. Set your wait the fuck down here. <laughs> Stavern is up here. Thomas Adamick is up here. Clitch was way up here. You're down here, bro. I'm not stepping up to you. You're a step down. Remember that. And, dude, I didn't have to go on the combine a 40 yard dash because trust me, I run a six six seconds 40 yard dash. You know, I'm slow. I don't bench press. I'm that's not what I do. I'm a boxer. I'm a bread boxer. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I didn't just start boxing just because I could cut it in the NFL or in fucking football. I didn't come to do that for that. You fucked up by trying to fight me. If you look at his record and look at his resume and fighters and stuff like that, he's a fighter that's gonna give you rounds. And he's gonna make you work. He's a very tough, rugged guy. You see the guy, he's not a little dude. He has a big ass neck. There's a reason why they don't knock this dude out. So my, my main goal for this fight is showcase my boxing skills. <laughs> yeah, my, well, they live right around the corner. Fuckers take all my money. <laughs> I do not gamble. I won't. I won't even bother. I go with the two hundred bucks, and if I lose the two hundred, eh, I knew it. If I come back with two hundred, I won. <laughs> like seriously, right. if you come back with your money, you're, I'm, I'm happy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was there for four or five hours, and I came back with my money. When I was 18, no wait. Now Chris, one thing we haven't heard as we close this interview is your trademark for profanity laced interviews. Would you like to share some? Fuck Don King. He's a racist motherfucker. You need to suck my balls. <laughs> you heard it here. That about wraps it up for another edition of Sweatchamber Square. And as always, I'm your host, Scott.